this is a video about sculpting in Fusion and I'm going to show you how to make this part here. You might want to take a screen grab of this document because I'm about to move it out of the way so that I can uh, load up Fusion. So pause, take a screen grab and I'll move this out of the way. So, um, oh, sorry, I'm one step further forward. Let's just go back. This should be something like the screen you see when you start Fusion. And when we want to do sculpting, so to make forms particularly with high degrees of uh, irregular curvature in them, um, like this plug, we choose the Create Form option. And then if you, you can choose what kind of form you want to start with based on what the shape is most like. So I'm going to say this plug we're trying to draw is kind of like a box. Um, it, would work okay. We'd be able to get there in the end if we went with one of the other options, but uh, the box is probably a good one. So um, we click on box. Next we have to choose the plane to start on. I'm going to choose this plane here. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. Then we choose a center and then we choose some dimensions. And I think plugs are typically about 50 by 60 millimeters. And then without moving the mouse too much, you want to left click to say we're happy with those two dimensions. And you'll get a third option, which is 25 millimeters. I wouldn't click anything yet because we're going to go over here and just uh, look at what's available in the dialog box now that we've got to this stage. Um, so length faces, I'm going to make that four. Just watch what happens to the box when I make that four. We just get slightly more um, options about how we can pull things around and similarly with faces I'm going to make four as well. You can see the change there. Uh, and then I'm going to put in some mirror symmetry and I want that to be along the long axis of the box which is that one there. I was just really guessing which one it was going to choose. Um, the green line is the important thing. The, the mouse shown in the image we're looking at uh, has that particular uh, symmetry. Uh, so I'm going to say OK. I'm happy with that uh, as my starting point. Now, in order, um, I should say, by the way, when I move the object around like this, I'm holding down Shift and also my middle mouse button and then just moving the mouse um, to see it from different angles. And what I'm going to do first, uh, there's kind of a pinch at one end. Uh, and then there's also um, a pinch along the side where your finger grip might go. So it's sort of narrower at one end and then also has a pinch along the side. Um, I might just look at it from the end that I'm interested in and drag out so I get uh, all of that, um, all of those panels chosen. But I've realized that's not correct. If I want to pinch it at the front, what I really need is uh, all of those panels uh, like that. So there are a couple of things going on here. Uh, I think these are the, the areas that I want to move. Um, I'll just show you what I'm going to do and then we'll see if it works or not. A lot of uh, the work I do, I have my finger on Control Z and I'll be happy to undo things if it's not really going the way I want. Um, within sculpting, you can do all kinds of different moves. Um, you know, I can pull that out and I'll get some weird shape that we don't want and then Control Z brings it back. But what I do want to do is to move all of this in this plane, uh, something like that. If I go with that, uh, how do we think it looks? Yeah, I think that's a reasonable approximation for the the plug that uh, you were given. Uh, so I'm going to say OK on that modification. Um, the reason that I chose these panels here was I knew that somehow I had to pinch the front of the um, of the plug. Um, I could have chosen a different set of panels and sculpting is always a bit more of an art than a science. Uh, so next what I'm going to do is rather than choosing panels I'm going to choose some edges. And if I choose these edges here and then say modify and then bring them uh, that's certainly not what I want to do. Uh, 
That's a bit more like it, I guess. Yeah, that's starting to look like the plug socket. The only problem is, maybe I would say now the whole thing isn't quite wide enough. And also it sort of pinches in and then out, um, which isn't quite what I want. So I'm going to take uh, these two edges and pull them out a bit. Again, you might do this completely differently to how I'm doing it. Um, the important, I'll say OK, and then I'm going to take uh, that point there. So again, we can choose to do this with edges or points or... I'm going to undo that, and rather than choosing the point, I'll say cancel, uh, rather than choosing the point, I'm going to choose these two lines and bring them in a bit. Good. And maybe the last thing I'll do, I'll say OK, and then I'm just going to take this point here and bring it out a bit to match the bottom. Somehow we got a bit indented on the top, which isn't quite what's on there. diagram. So I think that's now close enough to what we were asked to do uh, that I would say I'm happy with it. Maybe one more thing that I could do, the the part we're given has a very flat front, front face, um, so I might just bring in that front face to make it flat. I may have problems there that have crossed over uh, the symmetry line, in which case I'll undo that. I'm happy now that that is a plug. Uh, so I'm going to say finish form on that, and it seems to have worked. Uh, if you click finish form and um, it doesn't work, then you may have to undo some steps and try redoing them. I'm reasonably happy with that. Um, the last thing to do um, you are told to apply the physical material ABS and make the color white. So I'm just going to right click on body there. Physical material uh, ABS is a type of plastic and in fact it comes as standard in white. Uh, so I am happy with that. And what I would do is save that part and uh, Uh, in fact, I uh, might as well show you, you would save it according to the instructions, which I think say something like um, name, student number, sculpt, and um, you would also want to save it onto your computer. So you'd go, oh, well, I'll save it here first. And then I will um, export to my computer. Um, and I'm not going to do that right now, uh, but that's how you would export it. Save it on your desktop. And that part is now done.